Good morning, everybody. This is Courageous T. Better known as T Blog from my other channel. <laughs> How you all is doing to morning this morning? <laughs> so I hope you all I'm pulling up my pants, y'all, because I'm losing so much weight. Tell so, it's a good thing. I'm losing weight <laughs> and my pants keep falling down. But I want to say good morning to everybody, all my new and old subscribers. Thank you. Good morning to you guys. I love you guys on this precious, beautiful Sunday morning. See how the sun, sun, sun shining in my window. Give me that little glitterous glow. <laughs> so, I came to you all before with an elixir that I drink at night. And I did mention on another video that I will be posting up sometime this week. Because I've been so busy. So I will be posting it up sometime this week. That when I drink that elixir, that elixir <coughs> I drink it at least, excuse me, at least maybe three or four times out of the week. Okay, and it's a night drink, a nightcap. I call it a nightcap. And it was uh, a regiment that Dr. Mandel had put on his channel. So... I'm bringing back to you guys another regimen elixir, elixir that he recommends also in the morning before you eat. And this is supposed to be an artery cleansing elixir. So don't do this unless you consult with your doctor. Okay? So I want to say that. Consult with your doctor and see if it's okay. <laughs> Because all the spices and, and the oil that goes into these elixirs also do some of the benefits of certain medications you take. And if you're a person with low uh, blood pressure or low sugar, whatever, you want to be careful with that because it may bring the levels down lower. So, But if you're dealing with high blood sugar or high, high, high cholesterol stuff, they may want to see the video or talk about some of the spice and they might say it's okay so i don't know but please consult with your doctor so my further ado i'm putting a little twist on this elixir for me to make it beneficial to me because i need to get a little more fiber and to my diet anyway so he said drink this Right before you eat, 10 minutes before you, I believe it was 10 minutes or either between 10 minutes or 30 minutes before you eat or 10 minutes or 30 minutes after you eat. So I'm not sure if it was 10 minutes, but I think it was 10 minutes, y'all, before you eat and drink it or, I mean, or not and, but or if you eat breakfast and you forget to drink it, then drink it 10 minutes after eating. Okay, so 10 minutes before you eat or drink it 10 minutes after you eat your breakfast okay so i'm bringing this elixir to you and follow the steps and if you don't want to follow the steps, i still say i am sending you guys over to his channel to learn some things to help you as well so i'm getting ready to mix it up just like he did only i'm tweaking just a little bit to suit my to make it a elixir for me to help with fiber too so it cleans your arteries because fiber helps clean your arteries too but also it helps clean you your gut bacteria system too so with the further ado he says and i wrote it down that this elixir it helps it heals your arteries your tissues your organs and your glands so i did write this down Okay, and he said drink it every morning before before breakfast or every or after breakfast, 10 minutes after. So, yep, I did write it down. Okay, so I'm following by my little notepad. I will show y'all my hand writing is scratching. So, <laughs> but just follow, just see what I'm doing, just like he did. And if you don't believe me, go to his channel. And this is, um, the, the video is about... Uh, cleaning, cleansing the arteries. So, I wrote on mine says stop, uh, stop clog arteries. So that's what it is, is to stop clogging your arteries. Okay. All right, guys, I'm coming with you. So these are the recommendations. Of course, you see I got my little uh, kiss 
skis, skit, cup <laughs> before it ends. Okay. He says, have one apple, a half a lemon. My lemon is kind of getting withered, but that's what I'm going to use it. He said, use one uh, clove a gin, uh, of garlic. I'm using, I'm using, I got one, but I, I got a little piece one, so I'm just going to put that in there. He said, use some extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to give you the measurements as I put it in. He said, use some Kanye pepper. He said, use some turmeric. And he said, use some crushed, use some black pepper. Now, this is my crushed, but I got to refill it. So, okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. My apple is cleansed and everything else is cleansed. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up my blender uh, thingy. And what I said, me doing my twist is I'm going to use a teaspoon of flaxseed powder to add into mine. That's why I'm doing a little twist in there for me. Okay. So he said, chop your apple. You can go ahead and put your garlic cloves in there too. Chop your apple into nice small dices. Make sure you take the, the seeds out of your apple and that little core thing that be on the top of your apple. So he cute on the video. He cubed his little his apple. And I don't think it matters what type of apple. Just he said keep the skin on. That's what he says. Do not take the skin off of it. He said that's where the nutrients and it's certain. He talks about on the video the certain things that the skin of the apple does. I'm not going to give you all that information. I just want you to go check it out and learn from him what what uh, substance are in uh, the apple. On the skin of the apple and if you already know or if you want to google it up in your reader you know do so because you can find out a lot of things so this i used a granny smith apple and i chopped it up because i like the tartness the sweetness of granny smith well it has a little tart but that's okay the lemon will give it sweet but the inside of the apple will give it a little sweetness too and so i'm gonna toss that in <laughs> with my garlic Remember to use a whole apple and dice it just like this here. The funniest thing about this whole ordeal is I drink smoothies and it and it's and it looks like a smoothie. And when I drink smoothies in the morning, I um when I drink smoothies in the morning, <laughs> I don't want to eat anything, so <clears throat> This may just be my breakfast, and I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but, you know, I may have to send him an, uh, a text or an email or whatever. Okay, so... I just did the apple. So now I'm going in. I put my garlic cloves, my apple. Now it says, <laughs> um, oh, also you need water. So it says you need about a half a cup of water. So let me go grab my water. I'm just going to use it. Not even hot. I got me spring water, but you know what? I believe it can work probably probably with alkaline water because the alkaline would be very good. This is my half a cup. So I'm pretty sure it may work for alkaline water, but I'm not sure. I don't want to say anything wrong. It might, so. Okay, so now we're finna go on with the spices into here. He says to use a pinch of turmeric so I'm going in with this little spoon here and I'm getting about a pinch of turmeric 
Then he says, use one pinch of turmeric to two pinches, one to two pinches of black pepper. So I'm just going to crack like that, black pepper. One to two pinches or kanye pepper. So just like I did with my um as to me that's about a pinch. <laughs> kanye pepper. And be careful if you're using kanye pepper with your bare hands like I did. But I have some soapy water over here to kind of dry mine off. So I wash it and, and kind of dry it off. Okay, and then he says um Use a teaspoon of the olive oil, expiration of olive oil. Of course, we know EVOO. So, so, so he says a teaspoon. This is small, so I mean, this is not really considered a teaspoon to me, but it may be. But I used two. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm doing this wrong, <laughs> doctor and my subscribers, but I like olive oil. Okay. And he said, juice. A half a lemon so this is make sure that your seeds are removed so I'm juicing this half a lemon I don't have a juice I'm just doing exactly how I saw him do it I kind of put my knife in there so I can get all the juice the juices out of this lemon And then this is where I'm going to go in with my uh, flaxseed powder. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get me a spoon. This is probably about what they consider like a, a tablespoon. So, I'm not going to put like a heap in or nothing. But I'm going to put this amount of, in for flaxseed powder for me. Um, and, and by the way, I enjoyed my oatmeal with this flaxseed powder on top, guys. Woo-wee! That stuff was good. Okay. So I'm coming right back to show you the blending of it. Hold on. And now, guys, I'm just going to go ahead. And he said to... I had to lock it. And he said to post it and blend on high speed until it's all fully blended up okay so I'm just waiting for my thing to go and then about the glare of the sun you guys on the blender and now there we go it smells good guys you can smell the garlic a little garlic in there but it really does smell good Breakfast this morning or before breakfast, let's see. I don't know. So, these elixirs. This is my first time ever trying this one. And I ain't gonna tell you it's the best tasting thing, <laughs> but I will say this it's the best to me. If I can 
try anything naturally to heal my body. Let food be your healer. I'm striving to do that. You could smell the garlic pretty good in there. I think I probably smell more of a potent of garlic because I had a little small piece that was with the one clove. So it was like a little, little piece of clove. And But all in all, it's not bad. It don't taste as bad as the the night elixir, but like I told you, the night elixir, I got used to drinking it. And once I got used to drinking it, you know, your palate gets immune to something, and then, it, it, then it's like, okay, I'm used to this. I like that, you know. So, um, yeah. So, Dr. Mandel, if you see this video... Because I take cholesterol medicine too. And I'm trying to clean these arteries out. <laughs> so I'm trying your elixir. And I pray that when I take my tests and exams. That everything comes better. And my HD, my bad cholesterol levels go down. And then they can tell that. I can tell that it works. That helps me. They don't know about it. But I don't. <laughs> no, they know about it. I talk to my doctor. Like I said, the same thing I tell you guys, I talk to my doctor. So, that's what I do. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And like I said, consult with your doctor before you do any of the elixirs. Also, check out Dr. Mandel. Uh, his name is Alan Mandel, and he's a motivational, but he is a doctor, a motivational doctor. And he also tells you about the potency of what everything you put in the elixirs and what it does. I love that. If I can have a doctor to tell me what this does and and get me on a research and see what other other things that the foods that I put in my body helps and do for me. Yeah, he's one in my corner because he, you know, that's a person that to me cares about your health. Cares about enough to let you know to care about your health you know he may not be your personal doctor some people need a personal doctor cannot afford a doctor if you could follow some of the regimens or maybe some of the things that he does to kind of keep yourself you know level until you're able to afford a doctor or something do so so i mean i mean i wouldn't i ain't gonna say recommend that but i would say try to get you a consult to get you a doctor but i was saying you know i if it was me i wouldn't I would try it, you know. I would, I wouldn't like. I would rush. To, I would try to get a doctor, but I would not try leave myself out there without no help, no nothing, no not no knowledge of what foods can do for you. Okay, guys, I love you, courageous T. Back here again. I'm coming back with y'all with some of the meals that I am prepping. Like I told you, I'm not all the way plant based or vegan. But I, I am going to be eating some vegan meals throughout the week because, like I told you, a lot of times I don't have an appetite for meat. But I'm trying other ways to get protein in, and there's other ways to get protein in. And it ain't always with a bean, but, but I'm going to bring to you guys some of those videos and stuff and on this channel. So, yeah. And I also probably will be showing some of them on my uh, T vlog channel too, but mainly this channel would be definitely for showing you guys my transformation. See, you can kind of tell now I'm getting the curves there, y'all. You see them curves because first I was a round circle, but I love me, love you. Don't give up on you, you're worth it. Bye.